Hello everyone, in this video let us look at how we can delete multiple blank sheets in Excel file. Let's look at this example of an Excel workbook that I have. I have multiple sheets here named sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 and so on. And some of these have data in it and some of them does not. For example, this sheet is a blank sheet and sheet 3 there is data in it. And some sheets are blank and sh some sheets have value in it. So I want to delete all the blank worksheets in it. Now, if I want to do it manually, I can go here on a blank worksheet, right click on it and go to delete and the sheet will be deleted. But what if I have n number of sheets and there is like 100 worksheets and I can't sit and delete each of the worksheets and I'll have to check if the sheet is empty or not. Maybe in some worksheet it might look like it is blank although down here in row number 100 or row number 1000 there is some data present. So when you're doing it manually there is a lot of chances that you might make some error and delete some not blank worksheets or you might not delete some blank worksheets. So in this video, we look at how we can automate this task, how we can code so that it will automatically delete all the blank worksheets in your Excel workbook within a second. For that, let us write a Visual Basic code or a VBA code. For that, let's go to the Developer tab here. If you do not find your Developer tab here, then you can right click anywhere on the ribbon and then click on customize the ribbon. When you get this particular menu, you can go in the right side and check the developer option here. Now, once it is checked, you can click OK and you will get a developer tab here. Now, go to developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Now, you can also press on Alt plus F11 to open your Visual Basic editor. Let's click on this and this is your Visual Basic Editor. Now, you can write your code anywhere inside these portions, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 2, sheet 3 and so on. But I would suggest you not write it anywhere here because we will be deleting these sheets, right? If it is blank, it will be deleted after this code is run. So you don't want this particular code also to be deleted. So do not write the code inside sheet portions. Let's insert a module for that. For that, in this white area, which is called as the Project Explorer, right click. After you have right clicked, you can go to Insert here and click on Module. <coughs> now, a Module 1 is inserted and you can write your code inside this area, which is known as the Visual Basic Editor window. Let's not waste much time and start writing our code. We'll start by declaring or we'll start by opening a sub procedure. So let us write sub and put a space and let's give a name for our procedure here. I'll write as delete blank worksheets. Okay, this is the name I gave to my sub procedure and you can open a parenthesis and close a parenthesis here. And let's click enter and inside the sub and the end sub you can write your code. Let's start writing our code here. For the code you can start by uh, declaring a worksheet. So let's put dim ws as worksheet. Now, WS is a random keyword I used to declare a worksheet. You can use any word instead of WS. Now, let's click enter. And here, we'll go for a for loop. That is for each worksheet in this particular application. So, we have already declared that WS as worksheet for, let's say, for each WS in the worksheets. So to tell the worksheets, we'll say as application dot worksheets. Now, you should be very careful with the spelling. It is not worksheet. It is worksheets with an S at the end. Now, let's click enter. And this is the for loop. Inside the for loop, let's write if application dot 
worksheet function that we are calling a worksheet function here if application dot worksheet function and the function we are using here is count a so worksheet function count a let's select this one and inside bracket let's say ws that is for each worksheet dot the used range so what we are looking here is if the used range the range that has been used in the worksheet and that ranges count if it is equal to zero that is there is nothing in that range then we'll delete that particular worksheet ws dot delete i'll tell you once again what we just did here we are checking if in a particular worksheet or in each worksheet if we'll just uh, take the count of characters in the used range we will take the count of whatever is written in that particular range if the count is equal to zero it means that there is nothing written in that sheet so that is a blank sheet and we will delete that sheet now this is the code for doing that let's close the if clause by end if and click enter now let's close the for loop by telling next now this is your code now there is something else we need to do on this code for example we need to do error handling what if a particular worksheet threw an error like you can't delete it or you can't do anything about it so we don't want the code to stop there right we'll tell that okay leave that particular sheet you go to the next sheet and do uh, the code so we'll tell on error we'll tell in the beginning of the code itself that if an error comes then resume next that is resume to the next worksheet you click enter now that is done one more thing you need to take care is that when you are deleting a particular a worksheet there is a chance that the excel will ask for confirmation that is are you sure you want to delete the worksheet and you'll have to click on yes so each time you'll have to click yes for each of the blank worksheets to avoid that let us tell excel not to show any particular option at all so it will automatically just delete so we'll tell application dot screen updating is equal to false so we don't want excel to update the screen here we'll also tell application dot display event display alerts we'll give here display alerts is equal to false so we are telling that excel need not have to show any alerts now we'll click enter now, since we gave both these things false, we can't keep these things as false forever. After the deleting part is over, we should tell them that now onwards you can actually show us these things because warning us whether we want to delete something in actual Excel is very important. So don't forget to after the code, you have to put these as true. So after the next line here, so application.screen updating is equal to true. And here application.display alerts is equal to true. Now there is the code let's try running this and before running let me show you what is the status of the worksheet so alt plus f11 as you can see there are many blank sheets and there are sheets which has data in it our aim is that all the blank sheets should, should be deleted and the sheets which has data in it should not be deleted let's go to the visual basic editor and let's go here which is the running button and let's click run so it appears the code has been done and let's go back to our worksheet and see what happened this is a worksheet here and as you can see all the blank set bl blank worksheets have been deleted and only the sheets which has data in it are present here so this is how you can develop a code using vba to delete all the blank worksheets in your excel workbook in a single click you can create a button here and assign that vba code to that and you can just click here now this is a very useful vba code and in this channel i have posted many such useful vba codes functions and many other things please take a look into it i'm sure that will be helpful for you thank you and we'll see in another video